Hello, day traders. You're watching Market News on InstaForex TV channel with me, Kate Tichina. On Wednesday, the Australian dollar showed resilience to the American counterpart as traders were allowed to do macroeconomic data from Australia. Has the data come up uh, to the expectations? According to the government data, the employment change in Australia surpassed market expectations. The employment growth continued in December with 34,700 new jobs. Economists expected a smaller number of new jobs created in December, only 9,000. Nevertheless, the latest score came in below then in November. However, the unemployment rate ticked up to 5.5% in December from 5.4% in November as more people looked for work, pushing the participation rate up to a seven-year high of 65.7%. The later was 65.5% in the last months. In response to the labor market report, the Australian dollar fell from 0.8020 against the US dollar. When the European session opened, the AUD-USD pair was trading at 0.7960. Some strong figures in the report prevented the Aussie from a sharper fall, as the Australian currency is unable to stand the pressure from the US dollar. Meanwhile, the greenback is gaining ground across the boat. Demand for the Australian dollar depends directly on China's industrial output as China's industrial production consumes commodities from Australia. So China's factory output expanded 6.2% in December from a year earlier. The fresh reading was beyond expectations as economists predicted a 6.0% increase. Among other first-tier uh, data from China is a report on economic growth. China's GDP expanded at a steady annual pace of 6.8% in the fourth quarter, confounding expectations for a slowdown to 6.7%. At the same time, the economy grew just 1.6% on a quarterly basis. According to the median forecast, the market expected the sum growth rate of 1.7% as in the previous quarter. On the whole, investors and economists are quite pleased with a batch of data from China as it proves a healthy economic environment. The recent data does not indicate that the world's second largest economy is cooling down. You are watching Market News on InstaForex TV channel with me, Kate Stichina. We wish you profitable deals with InstaForex.